Well, it's a Sunday morning. So, I'm on my way to 7-Eleven. Hopefully it's open. If it's not, it's okay also. I'll just buy some what we call pondicile, which is it's like little biscuits. That's the best way to describe it. I do believe, and I'm. this is only my opinion, that social distancing is a great tool in dealing with this epidemic. Of course, it's going to hurt the population how are people gonna fall in love if you can't get close to somebody but they'll figure that out <laughs> Well, you can see the streets are no traffic at all this morning. Very, very limited people out. Good morning. You're up early. <laughs> Hi. How are you? See you a little later. Tomorrow is Monday. It's my market day. I'm only going out this morning because I need to go to 7-Eleven. So. It's. It's allowed. I read the rules again. One person of the household should be able to go out to buy necessities. Now, what, what constitute a necessity? I have no idea. But... Oh, to some people, toilet paper is a necessity. <laughs> the Saturday Evening Post is a necessity. <laughs> that bottle of Jim Beam you got in your cabinet, that's a necessity. <laughs> so many definitions of necessities. <laughs> I like to make these walking videos so you can actually see what is going on in the Philippines at this time. You get the real view. Look at these stores. All these stores are closed. All these businesses. My landlady. 
She's asking people to pay the rent. I try to explain to her, my neighbors don't have any work. They're not going to pay you. And she can't kick them out because they're locked in or locked down. <laughs> try to tell her to be sympathetic towards them. In essence, she told me to mind my own business. And I said, why are you telling me your problems? So we're not on good terms now. <laughs> Somebody always wants to share their problems. Okay, I want to wrap this up. I want to thank you very much for viewing. If you could please subscribe, I sure would appreciate that. Have a wonderful day.